All right, let's see what's going on in the air. All right, what's the message, please? Ace of Swords, some truth coming in about someone's work or someone's work is bringing some clarity to somebody. Someone was unclear about a situation. This could have to do with your wishes getting filled or like being emotionally satisfied. All right, Eight of Pentacles, work, working on something, your talents, gifts. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of food and drinks, all right? It's very significant. Thanksgiving could be significant, as well as Christmas, all right? And no. no I was going to say Hanukkah, but... In the world, something's being complete. So someone's work is, someone's getting ready to travel for work or um, something's complete when it comes to um, bringing clarity to a situation. I feel like someone was unclear in a situation. Something you do for work is, ding, is um, bringing clarity. All right, let's clarify this. Nine of Swords, so someone could be having sleepless nights. Look at, oh God. Look at the granny in the bottom corner. That's significant, right? Two and one, someone trying to um, pick a path. This person has four hands. And what the hell? This is a new deck, so bear with me, guys. And the King of Cups. Look at him drinking his beer. Yeah? All right. Nine of Cups, King of Cups. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. So the truth is, is really messing with somebody. Like, the truth, truth. Not their truth. It's the truth, okay? So somebody who couldn't see something clearly has to make some sort of decision here. It's like blind faith I'm getting, all right? Someone's wishes are getting filled. If someone got really drunk on Christmas, all right? You see him drinking his beer at Christmas, all right? So that's significant. But let's keep going. Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay. Two of Cups. This is about a soulmate connection. Someone worked with a soulmate and others. Look. So this soulmate connection turned into a third party situation where others were collaborating or watching you work. These people are watching you work. Look, they're collaborating while you work, while you rebuild. Oh, I like this deck. Here. The star. Yes, the world and the star. Someone's about to be in the spotlight very heavily. Online, maybe. 344 four on the timer I just saw. All right. Yeah, someone's a star out here. Someone's in the spotlight. Someone's being seen throughout the world. Okay? And the Six of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So, victory when it comes to being online or doing something on stage or whatever this is. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Three of Wands. So, someone sees through the illusions. All right, someone's moving on from these illusions or, or not. All right, all right, so with me, it's like the Six of Cups are the people from the past, and they're, they're not being honest because the Seven of Cups is, like, still unclear about something, right? Emotions. And Three of Wands is, like, foreseeing or moving forward, all right? Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Four cups. Lots of drinking. Ten of 
ten of pentacles, four of cups. So someone missed out. Someone missed the opportunity. Okay. It's ten of pentacles, four of cups. So someone feels left out of your ten of pentacles. They can't come with you, I just heard. Okay? All right. Let's see. The bottom of the deck is the three of swords. This is heartbreaking. All right? I feel like people tried to stop you from um, stepping into this energy here, and now they want to come with you. All right? The empress. And the three of feathers. What's the feathers? Rebellion against David. Would you be David? Wow. Air. I'm getting air. So three of um swords. Heartbreak. So they try to come against you. You could be this Empress energy, alright? And um, they, they regret it. They're sad about it. Because they can't come with you. Ace of Ace of Wands and the High Priest. Wow. So you're getting this new beginning with uh, and the tower. Ooh. Six of swords. Ace of swords. Alright. So the truth is hitting someone like a ton of bricks. Look. Alright. Someone is seeing clearly. Or someone. The light is being shown on someone. Someone's the truth here. Six of feathers. Six of swords. So moving on into calmer calmer times, all right, this is Ruth and, Ruth and, what's the name, Ruth and Moabite, it's Ruth and Esther, right, isn't that what that is, and we get the tower, so the tower, someone's safe from this tower here, and we get the high priest and the ace of wands, so, High priest, high priestess, so a new beginning, this could have to do, in the burning bush. Wow, it's the burning bush. I can't read it, I don't have my glasses. Hang on a second, guys. I don't even know if this will help. <laughs> I hope it does. Alright, it says, when the land... When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses, and Moses said, here I am. All right, so this is very significant, the story of Moses, all right, they threw him away, right? Uh, and this one says Aaron, brother of Moses. So this has to do with siblings. All right. So the high priest. So someone could be a high priest. Um, the Tower of Babel. And the Six of Feathers. It says, but Ruth replied, don't... <sighs> I can't read these. These this is just too small. I gotta get um, better glasses. Sorry, guys. I got new decks, so I don't know how anybody can read these. I'm not that old. Let's keep going. I like this deck. All right, so we get the Eight of Grains. So I would guess that's Earth, right? Eight of Pentacles. So working on something here. All right. Nine of grains, making it, um, you know, turning over. You're working on something, and it's working out for you. All right, and then we get the queen of wands, so very creative. Well, this, this tower is here for this queen of wands energy here, okay? Um, six of feathers, so let me keep going here. Guys, bear with me. We got two. We got Knight of Pentacles and the Hangman. Whoa. The 
the hangman. Knight of Pentacles. I don't know how I feel about this. Jacob. Someone's name could be Jacob. And Peter. So Peter was hung upside down. I don't know. That's what it looked like. Peter betrayed. Didn't Peter betray Jesus? I don't really know the stories. I really don't. I did when I was younger, but let's see someone's intentions here, okay? Let's go to this one right here. So we got chaos. It says, I'm, it's not my fault. I'm a magnet for trouble. Chaos follows me wherever I go. So this could be Peter, the hangman, Pisces energy. All right. Keep, let's do each row. Hold on. Let me stop for a minute. Let's do this first row. Moses. Moses. We got the gift. There's something I'd like you to have. So someone wants you to give someone wants to give you something. Uh, we got career. It says I'm concentrating on my career and focus on advancing no matter what it takes. All right. So this could be your energy collective. Imposter. It says I'm not who you think I am. So this could be this Queen of Wands energy. All right, date. It says, I'd love to get together somewhere and learn more about you. I'm certain my intentions are not yet clear. I'm still trying to figure you out. All right, so someone's trying to read you or figure you out. This could be um, Jacob <laughs> says, or this is you towards someone named Jacob, because I put it right down on this card here. It says, goodbye. The time has come to part ways. All right, so this could be Peter. I put it on top of Peter. I don't know. These could be like symbolic to the people in your life. It says past. I still haven't gotten over what occurred in the past. All right. So someone's having a hard time with the past. Curious. I'm intrigued and want to learn more. So someone wants to learn more. I don't know, guys. Um, let's pull some regular tarot. I should have played with this a little before I um, brought it to the public. But maybe this might make sense for some of you. All right. So we get the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is something new coming in or um, a new start that's going to make you very happy and someone else is in their head over something here, the Ace of Cups. Uh, someone's having sleepless nights. They want to come in and offer you something. They see you're celebrating or I don't know. Someone's getting what they put out, okay? And the Truth Sword is here, so that is significant. So, so whatever someone did in the dark, it's being brought to light here, okay? Someone's in their head about someone coming in and offer you something stable. Someone doesn't want you to be stable here, like, at all, okay? This could be a group of three women, okay? What goes around comes around is what I'm getting from this card. So whatever they put out is coming back, and that's the damn truth. Bottom of the deck. Here, let's see what's behind this. The High Priestess. And so whatever these people did in secret, I feel like the high priestess knows all of it, okay? And that's causing a tower moment. And they're watching to see what's taking place now, all right? They're trying to find their strength, or this is you, okay? Someone's trying to block someone from walking into their two ten of cups into their sun, all right? They want to keep them stuck, all right? This could be this group of women. They're worried that you, someone's coming in to offer someone because they see them as their happiness and their ten of cups all right that's what i see here someone wants to there's something i'd like you to have i'm concentrating on my career and focusing on all right so this could be someone who wants to connect with you it says i'm not who you think i am so someone's keeping who they are secret or something like that or they didn't know who you were they want to take you on a date it said i'd love to get together sometime and learn more about you all right so and then my intentions are not yet clear i'm still trying to figure you out and then it said the time has come to part ways so maybe you you were getting to know somebody right and someone still hasn't gotten over what took place all right wow all right so this is for somebody i don't know who it's for but uh let me know I'm going to cut this short, guys. All right, I am. And I'm going to pull some of these cards here and see if the angels want to clarify anything or have any further in, advice for this situation here. All right. 
I'm tired. I just got home from work. I want to lay down and relax for a few minutes and gather my bearings, and then I'll come back on and do another one. Um, thank you to everybody who's been very um, financially supportive. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. I don't want to forget to say thank you because I truly am really grateful. All right, and I always send the energy back to you guys. Um, you know, positive or negative. All right. This is the ocean. So this is about going to the ocean. It says the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing wonders brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow your, allow its power to, and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. All right. It says, see only love. It says, um, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only love within each person, including yourself. Um, your resolute focus upon love that underlies every situation brings about healing and understanding. All right. And, oh, in undreamed of ways. I have good eyesight. I don't get why I can't see. It's very small writing. It says have confidence. So someone's being asked to have confidence at this time. It says, moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will and we and those glasses don't help at all <laughs> we will buoy your courage and faith all right i'm gonna leave this here and this is ask for help ask for help okay guys so if you need help in a situation maybe this situation here ask for help all right, but someone wasn't who um, you thought they were, all right? But they do have a gift for you, or you had a gift for them, all right? I do like these decks. I just got to get used to them, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for being here.